What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we have a new upcoming release for spring that's pretty unique and a little bit different and helps round off the signature collection from Zaharoff. I'm talking about the new Zaharoff Signature Bloom, which we're going to be deep diving into a bit more here in this video. So let's get into it, shall we? Stay tuned. Now, as I always do, I have to go ahead and give a quick The George is my best friend. Um, you know, I'm in this from the start with the testing process as my wife was a big part of the testing process this particular time uh, because it's, you know, a slightly more feminine leaning fragrance, white floral dominant. But I wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I'm pretty experienced with the fragrance at, at this stage, aside from George and Claude, uh, I would be one of the few that's most experienced to be able to kind of break this fragrance down and kind of tell you what to expect and how it comes across in nuances to me personally, though this is what I really think about it. Just know that there is, I mean, there's a little natural bias with George being my, my close friend like this, but do with the information as you will. There are samples available on April 15th whenever this launches. Test it out for yourself. Take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, it just is what it is. I have to throw this disclaimer out there every time I do as a hard off review because of the relationship with George. So I get it. I put it out there for you guys just as an informational tool to use at your disposal. So let's get into this review. So first things first, let's look at this box. Because when it comes to box presentation, few do it the way George Zaharoff does. Look at the layering to this. The green, the white, the little hits of yellow with the orange stars in between. It's embossed, debossed, completely layered. I mean, just, just gorgeous. Doesn't this screen fresh white floral to you? He always does such a great job with his box presentations. He really does. He just does so great. And then it even carries on here on the inside of the box. Just shout out to George for this. It's the only boxes I actually keep at this stage are the Zaharoff boxes because they're such works of art. And then as far as the bottle, they are exclusively available in the two ounce 60 ml size. You can see it says Zaharoff with that same flower that's on the front printed on the front of the from the front of the box is here. It's a signature bloom, Zaharoff Z in green. And you can see the flowers coming through that are etched on the back side. So you get that same presentation in print from the box carrying over. And this cap is a tactile rubberized feel. There's a coating on here. That's why you notice the, the Z is not colored in like it typically is on his caps because there is a, a like a rubberized grip grippiness to this cap. I love that. I would love to see him do that on more caps. I actually quite like that. It's a super, super clean look. And if you're not familiar, his caps click super strongly in the place. It's easier to twist to get them off because there's a specific collar style and you have the Z inside the cap but they they click into place pretty well and then the atomizer is black this go round and pretty good spray but let's talk about this scent shall we so there's several things to note about this clearly white floral based on the presentation this is the most feminine fragrance in the men's signature line from Zaharoff ladies are going to enjoy this and my wife loves this fragrance the ladies at the office have been wearing it from what george has told me everybody seems to love this one it's cla george is classifying it as a floral incense um i classify it more as a floral oriental with incense being part of the oriental side of the classification uh because this is going to open up with a lot of there's six if i remember correctly six different white floral oils from four different types of jasmine you have gardenia which plays a prominent role here, and some orange blossom. So it's very white floral dominant. This leans to the feminine side. Now, what kind of brings it back from being too feminine and just kind of makes it more elegant for men, I would say an elegant, dressier occasion fragrance is kind of how I view it. I did wear it, I do wear it casually, but um, as far as has that elegant appeal for men is because of the Orientals, the myrrh and the olibanum, which is your frankincense oil, really kind of, I'm not going to say dominate, but are just as strong of a player in this formula as all of the jasmine oils are. Because I get olibanum from the start, it dries into myrrh, but I don't really get much coconut. If anything, that coconut gives a slight creamy feel to it in the top. And then as it starts to settle, I don't really get a lot of other florals outside of the jasmine with a hint of gardenia. The gardenia starts to rear its head a bit for me, um, but it's kind of a very smoky white floral early on. 
And then as you get into the dry down, that's where the myrrh really starts to take hold. There's, there's some sugar cane here that gives a little bit of sweetness to go with this myrrh because you get a slight, and I mean slight vanillic, creamy vanillic tone from the way this myrrh comes across. And uh, there's a little bit of woodiness to it. The oud, the Chinese oud that Claude likes to use in the signature line for Zaharoff's fragrances is present, but it's a, just the slightest of warm wood touches. I mean, I wouldn't even really say it's everybody's going to smell it. Not everybody's going to pick it up. It depends on your skin chemistry and how perceptive you are to oud oils and all that. So not everybody's going to smell it. But there is a nice present woody nuance as this one dries down. But again, the dry down is more about myrrh to me, which has kind of become, in my opinion, a Claude Deere signature. He likes to work with myrrh. And that's also part of the signature porum DNA. The resins, the oud, things like that. That's, prom that's all tie-in from the signature porum, D porum DNA because this is a signature porum flanker. Uh, this is a fresh white floral with nice resinous tones is the most simple way that I can put this one. This is for ladies that like a slight masculine tone to their flowery fragrances and this is for fellas that appreciate florals and enjoy the elegance that a white floral dominance can bring because again you still get a lot of masculine tones to this fragrance. It is a men's fragrance release that will cater to more of the female fans of the Zaharoff brand or the ladies in your life for those of you that are fans of the Zaharoff brand. This will make a great Mother's Day gift. It is a limited run. Um, he's, he released it in one size and uh, when it's gone, it's gone. Now it's not completely gone forever. It depends on how big of a hit it is with you guys per George Zaharoff that it'll come back next spring if you guys enjoy it enough and want it to come back. It will come back. So once it's gone, it's not gone forever. It, there's potential for it to come back next spring, but as far as in 2024, it is this one batch run. So, and there's a limited supply. I want to throw that out there to you guys. So all in all, if you like white florals and you like resins, you'll probably like this. I would say of the signature line for guys, this is the most dangerous blind buy right now. It's in pre-sale at the recording of this video. It launches on April 15th, which today is the 10th. So that's in five more days. So you can get it for $30 off right now. No active codes or anything like that. Once the 15th, 15th hits and it launches, samples will be available. The 3ML little pump spray samples will be available on the Zaharoff website. And the 10% off by using my affiliate link will go active again. So you can get, because regular price, I believe, is $155. Uh, so the 10% will be active, and that does work on the samples as well. I would encourage, if you're skeptical at all, about if this will be too feminine for you, if you'll like this, but you are kind of interested, wait for the launch and get the samples. Don't blind buy this. This is a dangerous blind buy for guys that aren't big time into white florals. If you don't like white florals, if you're not a fan of jasmine, this is dangerous territory for you. And I say dangerous with the lightest of heart because there's no real danger. You just might not enjoy it. So I want you guys to be very cautious about your blind buy unless you're certain. That's who the pre-orders are for. You can get the fragrance at the lowest point for those that are going to purchase anyway. That's pretty much what that's for. Now, let's dive into performance. So with this one, as you would expect, it's, it's good stuff. I don't know the exact concentration. I know it's an eau de parfum, uh, mid to high level concentration. Typically, George does around 20-ish percent with most of his releases. Um, I didn't, shame on me, I did not ask what it was. I don't have that information. But what I can tell you as far as how it lasts it's in that nine to 10 hour range for me, so I can safely tell you eight to 10 hours is what I experience with it being on the latter side of closer to 10 hours in longevity before it becomes a faint skin scent. Projection is definitely on the heavy side. This is a pretty stout and bright fragrance in the opening. The white florals here are very fresh. They have a lot of pop and vibrance to them. Um, so I would say in the first hour and a half, you're gonna get the moderate to heavy territory of projection. It's you know beyond arm's reach. If you spray this one heavy, you're gonna you probably choke yourself out and those around you. It's a it's a pretty stout fragrance. It can be cloying if sprayed very heavy. I gotta say it's a very bright and vibrant fragrance, made for the spring. It's an elegant springtime fresh white floral resinous fragrance. Um, now the sillage here is on the moderate side. It will remind you it's there. It doesn't just fade into obscurity once the projection calms down. You will get you know I'm not gonna say constant reminders that it's there but pretty close to being constant um, it definitely pops me in the nose from time to time when I make certain movements to let me know that it is there so across the board it's well above average it's not a beast but it is a very strong well above average performing fragrance in all three subcategories of performance well that's my thoughts and feelings on the new 
Zaharoff Signature Bloom. So as you guys know that are familiar with my Zaharoff videos, I don't give them ratings because, I mean, of course they'd all be highly rated because George and Claude only do great work. And for the skeptics, they wouldn't believe me anyway because George is my friend. So what's the point? Why bother rating it? It's good stuff. Try it for yourself. Take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, it's not going to be for everybody. I want to stress that one more time. This is not going to be for everyone. You have to know what you're getting into. Um, I would highly encourage sampling first. Again, the pre-order to save the $30 versus retail is for those that love to support the brand. They love George and Claude's work and they know they're going to get it anyway. It suits their taste. They think it'd be a great gift for their wife. They're big into white florals. I've been seeing comments from people left and right that I've pre-ordered two bottles already. I can't wait. That's awesome. I just have to do my due diligence to let you know that it's dangerous territory if you're looking for a super masculine fragrance like a lot of the other fragrances in this line. I would not call this super masculine. It definitely leans to the feminine with some masculine tones. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. There's a link down below if you want to go ahead and get on that pre-order while there's still five days left. After that, the link will provide, after the 15th hits, the link will provide 10% off for your purchase. And that includes the samples as well. Um, and until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Bloom and you give it a spray now, there's a real good chance you'll thank me later, especially if you know you like white florals. You're going to like this. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.